Okay, guys. Hey, what's up today? We are going to... Already messed that up. Cool. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be doing a color grading breakdown of how I color graded this image. Very, very nice. Very, very crispy. I know. Today, I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve. It is a free software. Did I mention that it was free? Cool glad that we got that out of the way the first step that i would give you guys in color grading an image is to actually shoot flat if your camera doesn't have a super flat setting that you can set it to already what i would suggest is going into your settings and lowering the contrast the saturation and the sharpness of your image now we're going to move into our software let's hop in all right guys as you can see we are inside davinci resolve here i have already picked out my little drone clip that i want to use and i have put it into my timeline i'm going to head over to the color tab which is located in this little corner right here boom we are instantly overwhelmed so up here we've got what is called our nodes now don't let the word nodes scare you these are essentially just layers now on node one what i usually do is i like to balance out the image and i like to also add a little bit of contrast and a little bit of saturation if you completely messed up your white balance on the image that you shot you can balance it using this little eyedropper tool down here you're gonna click it you're gonna pick a white spot on your image so these buildings are this building is white, I'm pretty sure it's white. So I'm gonna click it. See, it didn't really change much because my image is already properly white balanced. So if you fucked up your white balance, just make sure you don't do that. We are also going to add contrast and saturation in order to get this flat looking image looking a little bit more natural and normal. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna find the little contrast tab. So little contrast tab, we're gonna just slide that upwards. And as you can see, we're adding a nice bit of contrast. Next thing I usually do is I usually also add saturation. So we're gonna come down here into the little saturation tab. We're gonna drag that up as well. Alrighty, we're getting some nice looking saturation. I think I'm gonna leave it at, uh, I'm gonna leave it at 75. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here into this little, it's a triangle with a little raindrop next to it. That's where we're gonna add sharpness. If you drag the these three little lines you just drag them down, it adds sharpness. So we're gonna take it from, originally it's at 50, we're gonna just drag it down to 47. Eh, 47 might be a little too much. 48, we'll just drag it a tidge down to 48. We've already got a pretty good looking image going on. I'm just gonna turn it off and on so you guys can see. If you wanna stop here, you totally can. If you just want a natural looking image, by all means, stop right here. Just shut me off, shut me off fam. This is where I like to have fun. I like to add a little bit of stylistic colors to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new node. The way that you do this is you press option S on your on your keyboard and it'll add a another node, which is another layer. First thing that I like to do um, is actually go into our color wheels tab. So as you can see, we've got our color wheels tab down here. We've got three different pages. These little dots are pages. So we got page one, page two, page three. I like to use page two. Um, as you can see, we've got lift, gamma, and gain, which is just shadows, midtones, and highlights. What I like to do is I like to take the reds out of the shadows. So I'm going to go to the lift section. I'm going to click on the red. And I'm going to drag it down a little bit. And as you can see, our image is getting a little bit more bluish green in the shadows, which is what we want. If you want, you can also drag the blues up a little bit in the shadows. You can add a little bit more blue. I like how that looks. That's looking pretty, it's looking pretty once we add a new node, the next thing I like to do is I like to manipulate the colors a little bit more. So the way that I go about doing this is I go to the curves tab. And as you can see, we've got like five different pages here. So page one is just normal curves. Page two is what's called hue versus hue. I like to work with hue versus hue. So what, we, what, what you'll see here is you'll see that it'll show you what colors are most prominent in your image. So the colors that we most, the colors that are most prominent in our image are the greens and the blues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, click on the blue or in the teal and the green, and it's going to form little points for me. You can also create your own points if you want. You can just click it and it'll just create its own point. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the green point and I'm going to move it a little bit more towards the yellow. And I'm going to take my blues. Um, I'm gonna click on the little, make a point where the blue is the most prominent and I'm gonna move it a little bit more towards the teal. Not too much though, because I don't, I don't like when the teals are so neon teal. 
Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go to my next page. My next page is hue versus saturation. Now, this is where we're going to start to desaturate or saturate the, the colors that we want to make more prominent. I want to make this image a little bit more like, you know, the streets are empty. It's a little bit spooky. So I'm going to take a little bit of those bright greens out, those bright greens and yellows. Um, so I'm going to drop the greens down a little bit, drop the yellows down a little bit. And as you can see, we're kind of washing out the, the green tones of the image. That looks pretty good to me right now. Um, the next page we have is hue versus luminance. I like to use the hue versus luminance tab a lot because what luminance does is it, it either makes the color, the specific color brighter or it makes the specific color darker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my greens, I'm going to make them a little bit brighter. Do I wanna make them brighter? Yeah, I'll make them brighter, who cares? I'll make them brighter. Um, I'm gonna take the blues, I'm gonna drag them down, make them a little bit darker. I think I like that, that's pretty cool. Um, once you start to manipulate these points, you'll see that the rest of your, the rest of your colors also start to move a little bit. Make sure that you're only moving the colors that you wanna move, so just tweak that a little bit if you want. I think that's looking pretty good. Let's just, let's check, let's just turn it on and off. Look at that. Look at the grade that we just made. Look at that. Oof. Honestly, I think that looks pretty good in itself. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I am, I am pretty, I'm pretty darn happy with that. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you know, your color grading process is gonna, is going to differ from image to image that you're working with. But this is just an example of the process that I kind of go through and the tools that I use inside of DaVinci Resolve to get the looks that I want. So if you guys have any more questions, please leave me a comment. If this was the worst tutorial that you've ever seen in your damn life, freaking tell me. Just tell me. I need to hear it. I need to hear it, guys. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.